In this video, we're going to talk you through the top five research tricks in 2021. All right, so the first one on our list is typing and using, utilizing that search box to find ideas for products to sell on Amazon. So there's a number of ways that you could do this. We can start off with the most basic, and that's going to be accessories for. So we can go ahead and do that. And then hit the space bar. You can see there's a number of ideas, potentially smokers. You know, there's still quite surface level here. So we want to go a little bit deeper. And, you know, we can start off with A. You know, we've got ATV, Air Fryer, AirPods Pro, probably not, you know, going to go into those or electronics or anything like that. But I'm looking at Air Fryer as a potential. Yeah, that one looks, yeah, that one looks fun. Whoa. Yeah, that's very noisy, but maybe. Yeah. Obviously, this is just the start. So not necessarily going to sell air fryers anyway, but um, yeah, let's see. Maybe there is something that's sold yeah. separately. Exactly. And you can see that we've skimmed over these kind of sets and things. Uh, we can already see that there's a lot of noise in the market. We can almost rule this th this product out from the get-go. But first up, we've, we've seen this. This is not selling as well. This is like a silicone pot replacement. Let's scroll down and see what else there is. So there's air fryer liners. That's something that we could potentially open up and look at the market in. And let's see what else there is. A few more of these sets. And you know, this is just reinforcing that the sets are, are probably not a good market to get involved with. Far too much choice, a lot of different offer types. So we can just skim past those. Then we have a, another kind of silicon pot. So it's an air fryer pot or air fryer silicon pot. This is something that I would open up and map and have a look through the market for that product. but. You can see there's tons of ideas so far. Like there's another kind of uh, reusable versions of the of the uh, liners that we saw earlier selling well. Twelve thousand in home and kitchen. You know this is selling very well. So I'll, I'll definitely open that one up and see what's see what the market looks like. This this like like we said this is only a start and it's a beginning and it, already we had two or three products that we can look at. Obviously the sets we won't do, but these single ones. I mean even that official grill and lifting rack here is that one looks interesting as well i know interesting for us is not necessarily in interesting for other people but for me that that looks very bland and boring from the start but yeah if you go into that market you'll you'll see what it's like but it's a it's a good good start off point yeah exactly and i mean i'm already liking that and my eyes just drew to that product because 1999 uh nice price point sitting at 1500 in kitchen and dining you know, this product is selling very well, so I'll definitely want to investigate further. And I'd open that up into a new tab, as we always do. So, yeah, that's a, a real kind of quick way of showing how that works. You know, we, we, we just typed in A as our first letter, I'm sure. If we type in B, we've got braids, bathroom, a certain type of griddle as well, which uh, we can have a look at. But a lot of these that are like accessories for boat, beach, bikes, they're very surface level. You can potentially find areas to move in those areas, but I like to kind of go a little bit below that surface level. We've got this griddle. Let's, let's click into that and just have a quick skim through. I mean, we've got these drip pans, which are slightly different. Nice price point. Let's just see what the BSR is on here. Yeah, 91 in Patio Lorna Garden. You know, if, if these things are selling like hotcakes, I'll definitely open that up. You know, it might not be the ideal market, but it could lead you down um, into some other areas that you would never have seen if you hadn't have looked into it. Yeah, I mean, there are thousands, well, millions of products to sell. So it's just a, a place to to start off from. And then when, when you go further and deeper, you'll, you'll definitely find those products that we're looking for. Boring, low competition, easy to compete with. Absolutely. I mean, there, there was a, a good handful already here that we can see, you know, and then it's just doing exactly what we did for both of these. You know, you can go to C, you can carry on down the alphabet. You know, once you've done that, you can go to A, you know, and then maybe even type in another one. You've got accessories for above ground pool steps. You know, that could be an area. Wow. That's, that's going that, to sounds, that sounds interesting, actually. Yep. Yep. Exactly. So very boring. I mean, you can spend hours just doing this one method alone. You know, we have four more that we want to cover in this call. So let's move on to the next one. All right. So next up on our list, we have going through a list of hobbies. So really straightforward. Uh, I really love this concept. You know, you can open up a Google page and type in uh, list of 
hobbies. So we've got a Wikipedia page we can just click on. And yeah, I mean, we've got like general hobbies here. We could probably go into some of these other ones as well. But I mean, there's tons here. You know, there's probably not all of these are going to be really good uh, areas to move in. Aerial silk. I don't even know what that is. Airbrushing, you know. Yeah. I mean, you don't know what you don't know. So if, you, if you're always going to look at markets that you, you're familiar with, then, I mean, that's, that's only one tip of the iceberg. There are so many other things that people are doing and there's a there's a big niche and a big demand for it. Yeah, it's it's a great 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 place to to get this info from. So many different start off points here. I've just just noticed this uh, the djembe. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. I believe it's some sort of kind of like instrument. Yeah, you can see from that picture there. So we can just grab that, type in the the main word, and then uh, accessories again because similar to the previous one. So we've we've we're in a a certain depth of research here we've got like some like a shoulder strap for this instrument nice price point you know it's making some sales as well you know we've got other areas we've got like a, a carrying case for the instrument as well you notice i'm calling it the instrument because i'm not sure if i'm pronouncing <laughs> the word right <laughs> yeah i think it's like scientific names you just have to say it with confidence like jmb yeah. drum I and mean, people are like I think he's saying that right. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. And then there's another kind of like a foot percussion tambourine. I like that. What I think that's that? pretty cool. You know, that's something that will definitely open up product here. So it's very inexpensive, non-FBA. Uh, so you kind of have to incorporate the shipping here as well. But this is something that's, you know, never seen this before. It's making some sales and it's non-FBA. So this is something that will definitely open up and research further. You know, we've got like drum risers, with a lovely price point. And that was just one hobby. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> exactly. And I mean, if you go back to this Wikipedia page here, we've got tons like tapestry. There's just things that you just wouldn't think of. Um, but there are people that, you know, have this as their hobby and they 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 need to 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 kind of order products related to or the product itself uh in these hobbies. So I mean pottery is one that's gonna be a really big one. So we're kind of going from that surface level down to those, you know, deep root uh, style of markets in a really quick way as well. And, you know, there's, there's even more down here. And this is just Wikipedia. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there might be other pages as well with, with more niche type of products and, and accessories for hobbies or interests. All right, let's move on to the next one. All right, so the next one on our list is searching down through the Amazon tree. And so you've probably seen this in a few of our videos as well. You know, you can go into any of these areas here. So let's just go to shop all. Let's go with home garden and tools. You know, it doesn't really matter where we start because we can, as you'll see, move away into some you know, tons of different areas as well. So let's just click into any of these and just find the product. So you can see we're on the PDP here or the product detail page. We just scroll down to the bottom um, in the product information area. You can see here that it's uh, 331 in home and kitchen and number two in clothes drying racks. So we can click on any of these and it will bring up the top 100 in this subcategory. But the tree element is where we're looking at on the left hand side here. Uh, you can see that this is a subcategory within the home and kitchen area in storage and organization, laundry storage and organization. And you can see there's tons to, to look through here. So you know, laundry baskets, you know, there's going to be a lot of products that are pretty much the same, not really much to move on. So, and this is also a really good tool whenever you're, you're kind of stuck in a rut, you're looking through products, pages after pages, and you're not really finding anything. You want to move away, start that new research strand. And to do that, you know, you can just click on laundry storage up here. Or yeah, and sometimes like, even if it says laundry bags, I'll go through both pages of the top 100 because sometimes things are listed in the wrong category. And then you find like a gem because it's kind of that the person selling it may be listed in, in a different category or anything. So I, I wouldn't just dismiss anything. I'll still go through both pages. I mean, it'll take you like 20 seconds to just yeah. go through both pages. And there might be something that's, that's different than just a normal laundry bag. And yeah, you can, you can click into that and might be, might be a gem. Yep, absolutely. And you can see here, we've gone a little bit more broader, a little bit higher up that tree. Um, and you can see this is the top 100 in storage and organization. 
you know, I want to go a little bit deeper than this, and we can choose any of these, you know, it's garage, garden, uh, garage storage and organization. We can click into that, and, you know, we've got these three shelf adjustable uh, shelving units that we can look into. We've got these, um, I don't know, I've been in this market before, so I'll probably rule that out right away, but you can kind of see where we're getting at here. There's tons of different types of products that we can move into. So this is like a garden tool, tool organizer. You know, we've got a couple of these hooks as well. We've got these bike racks. So there's tons of different avenues that we can explore by clicking into to any of these. So this is like some sort of corner tool rack. Let's see what else there is. Yeah, I like these products. They, yeah. they look very bland. And I think that if you if you go deeper into these markets, you'll definitely find something that's that's worth selling. Yeah. I mean, this one I'll open up as well. It's like a bicycle hoist uh, for for a, a garage storage. So, yeah. I mean, you know, once you've kind of gone through those and, you know, we're going to be talking about segueing in this in this video as well. You can you can go back to this area and you, know, you can keep this one open. You know, we already established a good five or six products that you can move into segue if you want to bring it back you know want to do we want to go deeper in this uh in this strand rack accessories we can click into you know it goes even more deeper into these areas i mean I, my eyes are drawn to this already this is like a hard hat uh hard hat hard hat helmet. helmet hanger for a car like it's rack for a car or something yeah exactly so the options are endless here all right, let's move on to the next one. All right, so the next one on our list is segueing. So yeah, this is one of my favorite tools uh, in terms of research, you know, finding these products, finding a good start off point and segueing off. And we can kind of do that now and have a look through. And we did notice there's this product here, that hard hat uh, hanger, very obscure. I would definitely look at the market, see if I can rule it out. But in terms of what we're doing now, Going to segue from this area by scrolling down. We've got frequently bought together. We've got some flags and we also have uh, some sort of rack, I believe. We could open those up, but also going into the sponsored products, this is where we're going to find, you know, the potential gems. So I'd open up something like this, slightly different to what we're looking at. But we've got 41 pages of, uh, of potential avenues that we can explore. What we're trying to do here is find anything that's slightly different. You know, we've got this baseball hat in a, in a carrier case. It is selling at 50,000 in, in clothes, but this might not be the best seller. The market actually might look actually really good. So I've definitely opened up something like that as well. Yeah, I have to say that when I started off, I, I used the three three ways we looked at, but this is definitely one of my favorites just because you get to get uh, a lot quicker, a lot deeper into those uh, kind of, products that we we like to see the the boring ones and yeah i mean this is just this will explode i mean we have 41 pages and then we're opening pages and those pages also have segues that we can go from so it's just endless it's just looking at markets over and over again trying to find those uh, kind of products that we like to sell yeah absolutely and i mean like you said 41 pages and then we also have eight pages of uh, of some more sponsored products down here as well but you know, that these are going to lead to other areas as well. So I've just opened up this one that's uh, that's kind of interesting. So this is like a, like a pencil holder to be attached to a tie, uh, like a belt, I believe. So, you know, if we've looked at this market, if we've ruled it in, great. If we've ruled it out, we're going to scroll down here. We're going to go back into this offering and we're going to look through the sponsored products here. You know, we still have the original one open. We're only on page nine, but you can see that we've just opened up a new avenue. And, you know, do this 10, 20 times. I'm sure we're going to open up at least 10 or 20 products within that 45, was it 41? You know, we're going to find a lot of good start off points there for sure. So the last one on our list is backwards researching. This is one of my favorite techniques uh, to find really good product ideas. Uh, we can kind of go through that now. Uh, let's just open up this Alibaba into a new tab. So a lot of times, you know, you're talking to a supplier, communication is going down really well. You potentially have even placed orders with them as well. Sometimes that utilizing that established relationship could be a really good start off point for, for, for research in, uh, you know, looking through their catalogs and whatnot. So we could even do that without having that established that relationship. And we can look at markets uh, by going to categories. So for example, let's have a look. I like the home garden and furniture one. <laughs> yeah, you can go to garden supplies. 
let's just see what comes up. And you can see here, there's tons of different products. So we've got like bamboo fencing, we've got artificial plants. You can look at any of these. I mean, this is like some herb drying rack. Let's just open that up. And you, know, you can scroll down. We've got like a barbecue, it's like a barbecue grill holder. I don't think that's the same product. Is that a brick? What's that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> well. Like there's loads to kind of look through. I mean, there's there's just tons here, but we just opened up this one. You know, this is the product we could potentially look at. In fact, it's a, let's just find that search term. So it's like a herb drying rack. So what I'll do is go back into the Amazon browser, type in uh, herb drying rack. Yeah, I'll map this market and look through this as well. Very low search results, a few different offer types here. A few that are selling very well. Market size looks good so far. These are sponsored so we can skip through them. They'll be duplicated as we scroll down. A few more that are in and around that range. You know, we're looking for anything that's 50,000 and under. Uh, but what we are seeing are a lot of different offer types. So there's a lot of offerings that come with some extra bonuses, some um, like scissors in these scenarios. So this would be a rule out for us. Would I move away? Would I shut this down? No, I'll go back into uh, one of the listings and segue, you know, point number four, segue uh, onto different areas. So even though we've ruled that out, we'll segue this product, but let's go back into uh, our Alibaba page here. Sometimes even you can go into the, the Alibaba uh, shop or into their Alibaba page, and then they have usually have products there that you can see what, what else they're selling. Yep. And then yeah, also, if, you, if you're talking to suppliers and you're bringing multiple products from the same supplier, you can always get a lower MOQ, which is also in your favor because you, you're doing a big order and you can test mul multiple products at the same time. So sometimes it's a, it's a really good way to do research. So we're in this um, factories page here. You can see that they're a gold supplier and they have a clickable link with their company name. So I'll click into that. You can see that we've got the company homepage here. Then we, if we hover over the products area, we can select see all categories and we can scroll down. You can see they do a number of these herb drying racks, you know, very similar to what we saw on the Amazon page there. We know not to click into these because we just looked at the market. We've already ruled it out, but you know, this is something slightly different. This is a, a clothes, I think it's a clothes, like a sweater drying rack. So it's slightly different, you know, I'd find the search term there, which is a sweater drying rack or a sweater dryer. I'd put that search term back into the Amazon page and look through through the markets there. And of course, segue on from there as well. But let's just scroll down. We've got a few more other things. We've got these vegetable planters, slightly different to, to the first product. Then obviously there are five pages of other products. So these kind of like bubble bags, I'm not sure what these are, herbal ice bubble bags. You know, that's something that I would look into uh, on Amazon as well. Then we've got some cucumber trellises. You know, I'm sure there's going to be tons more uh, as we move into these other pages. And that's just one supplier as well. So, I mean, there's obviously a ton of suppliers on Alibaba that we can look through as well. You you have no no reason to say that you don't know what, or how to find a product or what product to find. But yeah, in the comments below, let us know if, you, if there's any other tricks that we can help you with. Uh, we're here for you. We want to help you uh, get that research muscle going. So in the comments, let us know what else would you want to see? Are there different tricks? Because uh, we're here for you. We want to make content for you. So yeah, if you tell us what you want, then we can share our advice. Yeah, 100%. And if one of these points that we spoke through today really stands out to you and you want us to go into a bit more detail, we're more than happy to. So definitely comment down below, which one was your favorite one and which one would you want us to delve into deeper? All right, thanks for checking out today's video. Here are a few other videos that can push you forward into that next level of research.